Hello everybody, it's me back again. So today I'm going to do something else a bit different that I've not done before. Now I've had a few requests for this and basically this video is going to be about my job. So I've mentioned ever since I start my channel that I work for Waterstones, a bookshop, and through it I've had some of the most incredible opportunities to meet authors, to meet industry insiders, to get advanced copies of books and I know that it's something a lot of you guys are interested in, so today I'm going to give you a bit of a walkthrough about how I got into my job, what I do on a daily basis, and what the perks have been, the free books I've got, the authors I've got to meet, the opportunities I've had, and fingers crossed you guys will like this, I'm not going to try and make it too long, because I know me just talking for ages about work is never the most fun of things, but we'll see what you think anyway, and as ever, if you've got any questions, let me know down below. I'm more than happy to do a follow-up Q&A kind of video where I answer any questions you guys have got about my job, how I got into it, how you could get into the book industry, or anything of the above like that. So to start with, I should probably explain what my job and job title is. So my technical job title is Events Coordinator for Waterstones in West Yorkshire. I'm based at the shop in Leeds, which is where I live, but over the past couple of months I've been doing more with other stores in the area like Huddersfield and Wakefield, Anybody not from the UK, don't worry, they aren't particularly important places, but just to give you an indication of kind of what I cover as part of my job. That's my job title, but the more important bit is what do I actually do on a daily basis? So it's a combination of just working in the bookshop, so dealing with customers, recommending books to people, choosing what books to put on display, what money off offers to do, those kinds of things. But the more interesting half is the events half. So for that, there's a few aspects I cover. I will look at what author are releasing books, see who I think will be good to visit the shop, what people in Leeds, who, who would they want to meet, who do I want to meet, who is likely to be big in the future that we can really get behind now, and then I get in touch with their representatives and basically try and schmooze them and convince them that they should bring their author to Leeds because we're incredible and the fans are all going to love it. We've done loads of random stuff, so we've had a Harry Potter evening recently, so that's all Harry Potter fans, and that's like my people, that was amazing. But then it goes on to things like history readers, and teen readers, kids authors, a whole variety of different stuff that I've encountered with and dealt with, and it covers things as well like using the social media accounts, and promoting the shop, and authors we've got visiting. So it's quite a varied role but I absolutely love it. So the other most important question is, how did I get to where I am now? A lot of it was actually luck. So actually, I worked for Waterstones as a Christmas temp back in 2010 when I was in sixth form. I was 17 and poor. So I needed some money and I thought, right, where am I suited to work in a bookshop? So I worked there for four months and got to do loads of really incredible stuff, but then didn't get kept on because I was going off to university, understandable. Three years into my university degree, in my last year, I thought, right, I've got lots of free time. I did a history degree, so I was very rarely at university. It was a lot of outside uni work, but I had quite a lot of free time, and I thought, right, there's a job going at Warstones. Let's apply again. Why not? And that's led to this, essentially. I was hired as a Christmas temp, worked there for September to December 2013, which is so long ago now, it's terrifying. And then... When I graduated in June 2014, I explained to them, still working here, can I work here full time? Can this be my job? And I got really lucky that the girl who used to run events for the shop was leaving for another job at head office and I'd done event stuff in the past. I'd done quite a lot with the company in events and it just made most sense for me to take it over. So it was the perfect time. There was a lot of luck involved but it went so well and I'm actually thrilled with how it ended up. So June 2014, I started running events for Waterstones in Leeds and now, what, eight months later on, still doing it, still loving it and still incredibly lucky to do the job I do. So now, the most interesting bit. What perks have I got from doing this role? So actually, I got really lucky within the first couple of months of joining Waterstones in 2013. We had an event with teen and young adult author Patrick Ness, but they needed someone to interview him on the night, to ask him the questions, host the evening, interact with the audience, and because they know I'm gobby and loud and like talking, I was put forward for it and got the opportunity to do it. So I had that incredible chance to sit 
at the front of an audience of 100 people with a world around author and talk about his newest book, which is more than this. So actually, I always love this party trick. When he was doing the signing afterwards, they asked him to sign, and he's literally put in there, to Joe, excellent interview, which makes me so happy. So that was one of the first proper responsibilities I had doing events, and it was an incredible time, it was an incredible evening, an incredible opportunity, and I absolutely will never ever forget that that was the first event I was properly involved with. One of the best perks of the job is that we get lots and lots of free books. So, when I took over running the events in June 2014, the very first event that I looked after was Elizabeth is Missing. So that's Emma Healy. This isn't what it looks like, this is a proof. One of the big perks. And this was my first event, we had about 40 people, and it was a lovely crowd, really nice evening, and it will always go down as my first event and the first one that went really, really well. And this book will always have a special place in my heart because it's a really important topic. It's a lovely book and it was the first event I really did. What was most exciting about this role for me was that I actually got to meet a lot of authors I really genuinely loved and enjoyed the books of. It was, obviously there are authors who I've not particularly read in the past. So we've had big names like Lee Child, who I know is a fantastic writer and has huge amounts of fans. But I've never read his books. It's still a special moment regardless, but it's even nicer when you have those events where it's someone you personally absolutely love, have read for ages, and really, really want to meet and get to know and ask questions about the book. So I'm just going to rattle through a few of those that have happened. So we've had The Rosie Project, Graham Simpson. One of the first books of this kind of light-hearted, almost chick lit -y type of books that I've read. Really enjoyed it, really funny. Really enjoyed the opportunity to chat with the author last year. I Am Pilgrim by Terry Hayes. So this is one that I've mentioned loads of times on this channel. It's one of my favourite thrillers ever. And this was actually a really interesting one because he was due to go to the Harriet Literature Festival, which is not far from Leeds and Store. And I asked if he'd be able to stop in to do a signing. And they said he'd literally just have about 20 minutes. So he'd come in and sign the stock. But when they got here, they said, oh, we've actually got a bit more time. Do you want to sit and have a coffee? So I got to sit and have a coffee with the author of I Am Pilgrim and just ask all the questions I wanted to ask. I was like a little child, it was quite embarrassing, but it was an incredible opportunity. And it's things like that that really have made the job stand out and I've absolutely loved about it. This is an author that I have also really love, Brandon Sanderson. Now, this was a particularly bittersweet moment because I was actually on holiday when he visited the shop. I organised the event, had it all set up and then just wasn't here when the author was. So I've left my copies to get signed, so he was lovely enough to sign the books anyway. And I was really sad not to meet him, but I'm optimistic I'll get the chance at some point in the future. This is one of the biggest ones for me. Garth Nix, so he was a big influence on me growing up. I absolutely love pretty much all of his books. I've read pretty much everything he's written, all the, the Keys of the Kingdom series, the Old Kingdom series, the Confusion of Princes he bought out last year, most of his books I've read at some point, and I can tell you I bought a huge stack of books to get signed when he was in the shop, and he was a lovely man, absolutely incredible to talk to and get to know, and this was one of the really biggest events for me when I was like, I am meeting one of my heroes. We've then had some rising stars in, so we really got behind the miniatures by Jessie Burton, and she visited the store last August, September time, and it's always lovely to meet a debut first-time author or an author who's just making it big. And in this case, she was absolutely lovely and it was really interesting to get to talk to her because there's a lot of complex themes and settings and ideas in this book. And it was lovely to sit down and just be able to find out where she got them from, what her inspiration was. Um, and obviously, I love collecting signed copies, so that was a really nice boost too. Now, one of the other things I've got involved with through my job, which is actually not related to the events aspect, just open to all Waterstone staff and I managed to fight off everybody else and secure the opportunity to do this, was I helped to run a reading group which judged the Guardian First Book Award. So for anybody who's not aware of what it is, the Guardian's a newspaper in the UK, and they run each year an award for a debut novel or non-fiction or poetry or short stories collection. It's worth £10,000, so it's really good, and obviously the publicity behind it is massive. Half of it is voted for by a team of judges, and half is by a team of readers, and it's five Waterstones branches that each host a reading group. So we, in Leeds, hosted it, and... I was lucky enough to be the person that secured the slot to run it. 
So this is the winner. It's Young Skins by Colin Barrett. It's a short stories collection. It's one of the first short story collections I ever read. And it is it's very, very good. It's not particularly my cup of tea. It's very Irish. It's very Irish in style. It's Irish literature, Irish author. And that's not my cup of tea particularly, but I can appreciate that it's a very well-crafted work and a deserving winner. And I got to meet most of the authors of the shortlist in the end. So there was 11 books they picked that we read and five were picked as potential winners. And I managed to meet pretty much all those authors. Do No Harm, the book I've talked about a few times as well. That was on the list. Got to, well, never got to see him. He ran away before I could talk to him, but I got to see him. So that's always nice. Got to have a proper chat with the guy who wrote this and a few of the others. And that was a really incredible opportunity that I got to do. That I never thought I'd, I never thought I'd help to judge a book award. Who does that? Who gets that chance? And it was incredible to be able to be involved in the process, to get to meet loads of other lovely. The reading group was incredible. They were such nice people, and I really got on with them all really well. And I was really, really lucky to be involved in that. And I really hope I get to do it again next year. So as you can see, I am so lucky with my job. So lucky. It's a really incredible job. I'm really lucky to have got it. It's given me really good experience, some really, really good opportunities to meet authors and some of my long-time heroes, and I wouldn't change it. I would not have changed this past year for the world. And I hope you guys have found this interesting. I hope any of you guys that want to work in the book industry, do whatever you can, because it is an incredible place to work. You get all the insider gossip. You get to read books and talk about books for a job. That's amazing. But if you've got any questions about anything I've mentioned, want to know more about the authors I've met, there are some I've not mentioned, either forgetful or decided I'm going to save some for a future video. If you've got any questions, feel free to just comment down below and let me know. I'm more than happy to do a question and answer type video if there are enough. And I hope you guys have found it interesting. I could talk about my job for hours and hours and hours. So cutting it down to what a 10 minute video has been really quite difficult. But like I say, Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. A few of you requested this and I hope it's lived up to your expectations. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like and a subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I will be doing some kind of competition for 100 subscribers, but I'll let you know more about that as the mythical figure looms a little bit closer. As always, my Goodreads and Twitter are in the description down below. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon in the not too distant future.